Hey everybody, this is Katrina, the owner of COS Marketing Agency, and today we are going to talk about how to leverage social media to grow your restaurant. So in today's digital age, social media has become essential for most businesses, especially restaurants. So if you are looking for a particular vision when it comes to your restaurant, you've probably considered social media marketing or maybe you're actively doing it now. So the value in that is you're able to create conversations online, um, which essentially leads to not just more people knowing who you are, but actual growth on things like Google search um, and other platforms that you would not normally think are connected to social media. There's a lot of misconceptions with that. So we're going to go into some of that and we're going to talk a little bit about strategy. Of course, if you want to take a deeper dive and you want something a little bit more personalized, make sure that you contact us. All of that will be in the description below. So social media trends are going to be something that you want to capitalize, uh, especially dependent on your audience and their age range. You want to use things like story posts to leverage limited time discounts as well, special incentives, things like that. Story posts are on a 24 hour time frame and are for Facebook and Instagram, if you didn't know. So in that 24 hour period, it gives you the ability to do maybe a, a, a flash sale or promote a very specific product for a certain reason. So, and you're going to know um, what would be a better fit for something like that. It just depends on, um, you know, maybe the time of year or what holidays are coming up as well. You also want to focus heavily on videos and reels. Um, I think too many restaurants are posting pictures, which are very nice and high quality, but they're just not hitting the algorithms the same way. The algorithms these days in general are programmed to focus more on reels and video because that's what's going to draw people in. That's what's going to grab their attention and that's what's going to keep them on the site longer. So start to think about some of the things that grab your attention just in general, how it works, how it looks, how it operates, what you like, what you don't like, and attribute that to your business in your own way. You also want to build a fear of missing out or FOMO um, and an excitement around your brand. Does what you're doing currently right now do that? If the answer is no, then that might be something that you need to work on. You could also invite people into your social media network uh, through your loyalty programs. I've seen too many times where the loyalty programs are not connected online with a website or social media at all, or at least not social media. Connecting that uh, loyalty program directly with things like shares or likes on your page, it just takes a couple seconds of their time, but greatly helps your business. Um, it keeps them you know, informed of the, of the things that you're doing more likely uh, to see you again on social media, and it helps create that base of uh, of followers that you need as well to be seen by people outside of that. So it just has that snowball effect that you want. So that's just something to keep in mind. Using social media in loyalty programs, whether you have one or you want to make one, um, having that as a component of it, I think is absolutely essential. Um, even if it's just follow our page and then you're opt into the loyalty program and you get a coupon and just anything. Um, take a little bit more time to get uh, to hone in and tailor it to, to your business, of course. You also want to consider maybe doing some of these online challenges when they come up. It just really depends. It also depends on you know the vibe of your restaurant again and who you're trying to go for. This is not gonna be for everybody, but there are just so many of them that it's not difficult to capitalize on some of it, right? Because it's just constant and pick your site. It doesn't have to be just TikTok, right? Um, there are plenty of other places where they do they do challenges, there are chances to go viral. Essentially any social media site, um, you do have an opportunity to go viral, but I want you to keep in mind that what we teach here um, may have that effect, but what I'm more concerned about is long sustainable growth with your audience, especially if you're a local business. I want to focus on who we're targeting, um, what areas do they live in, things like that. So if that is more of interest to you, kind of more of a long-term consistency strategy, I think we're especially good for you. Um, if you want to learn more about us or set, or you want to set up a no-cost marketing strategy session where we can go over some of this and kind of tailor this strategy to you, you can give me 
uh, directly a call. I am Katrina, the owner of COS Marketing Agency. That phone number is 407-334-9378, 407-334-9378, and that website is cosmarketingagency.com. All right, thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.